Hey, it's Andy. Hey, it's Nick. I'm Lachlan, we're Surf Trash, and you're watching Lunchbox TV. Yeah. Is anyone else sweating? Yeah, it's fucking hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys are playing today. Yes. Where are we? We're at the lair right now. Yeah. Metro Lair, Sydney. Metro Lair, Sydney. Sydney, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys played here before? Like, what's the go? Are you excited? Tell me about what's going through your mind right now. We played here uh, earlier in the year. In May, it was loose. It was awesome, um, and we're doing it again, so it's gonna be fun. Yeah, the juices are pumping. I'm very keen to get on that stage. Should be pretty mega, <laughs> performance-wise. Do you have any um, albums coming out? Like, what's 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 on the horizon? Well, we put out a new single, Friends. So that's what this tour is, the Friends tour. Uh, I don't know. The last like month, two months, I've been writing some new songs. Jacko's been writing some new songs, so. Hopefully we record early next year and put out like another EP, I think, do some more singles. Where are you guys recording this stuff? Is this a home a home kind of recording studio or like do you, do you go somewhere? Well, we recorded all the demos at home in our home studio, but then we'll probably go into an actual studio and do the final recordings. We don't know where yet, though. These, are these songs like, like what's the, what's the emotion behind it, you know? I probably should say this, you've been writing most of the songs. So. Well, I've written like maybe 10 or 11 and it's a mixture. Um, just about like growing up and life stuff. Definitely um, real things going on, like I'm not just picking a topic and writing about it, it's like my, how I might feel at the time and then I'll just go write a song yeah. about how I'm feeling. Um, but all the songs are different again, like it's, it's like our first EP. It's pretty punky. There's still some punky songs in there, but um, this one's a little bit more laid back. There's, it's definitely a different vibe, but there's still punky songs in there. So, but it's definitely different, yeah. Because I think because we're writing about new stuff as well, like yeah, real stuff, you know. So. Yeah, yeah. Real stuff. That's, real, that's the, stuff. real stuff is the good stuff. Yeah. I'm actually blind in these glasses. I can't really see anything. <laughs> are you blind in yours? Uh, mine are good quality. <laughs> is that a stab at her glasses? <laughs> Do you have any plans for after the show? Probably go home and kick on. Or maybe go to DZ Death Rays, according to you. It's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten. Just the other weekend, Benny from Skeggs put me on to um, rock melon wrapped in prosciutto. And it was really good. Yeah. And I'd never done that before. It was interesting, interesting though. Yeah, it was. <laughs> what about you guys? Rice. Wait, well, something else is really good is strawberries with peanut butter on them. Oh, Try it. Oh, Don't. Oh, don't, don't diss me until you've had it. What are those things where it's the mashed potato wrapped in Devon? That's pretty cooked. Ew, what about <laughs> But the weirdest thing I've ever seen, I walked upstairs once and I saw Jacko pulling apart pork for his toasted sandwich with his mouth. So, so he'd put the meat in his mouth. Uh, hey, I've got the video to prove it. Yeah, so he's dicing it up. He put it in his mouth, chew a bit, chew it, spit it back out and put it on his... On his. Yes, you did. And he put it back onto his wrap. It's disgusting. <laughs> what do you mean? If you could be an animal, what would you be and why? Animal. <sighs> when I watch Madagascar, I get pretty inspired to be like a zebra. It just looks fun. You're just bopping around like with the crew. I reckon being a bird would be pretty sick because you could fly, maybe like a toucan or some sh shit like that. And also uh, a monkey would be pretty badass as well, just swinging from shit to shit. Breaking into people's cars and stuff overseas. And I would probably be like a dolphin that could fly. You can swim as well. Like, you're like, you can do anything. Yeah. So you're on tour right now. You played Melbourne last week and you've got Brisbane to go. How was your Melbourne one and what are you looking forward to on your, on your Brisbane one? Uh, Melbourne was dope. We played the Gasometer Hotel. We haven't played there before and it was our second time back in Melbourne. We were there earlier in the year and this show was a lot bigger than the first so that was exciting. And Brisbane's going to be sick because we haven't played up there yet so we're looking forward to that. We're yeah. yeah, hell yeah. yeah. It's going to be sick. Yeah. So we haven't played Brisbane before so we're playing the Foundry. It's in like next week or the week after so really, really keen. So New places. 
you've got two festivals coming up. Yeah. Are you allowed to talk about those? Yes, they're announced. Nick, you can talk about them if you want. Uh, in December, yeah? Yes. Uh, early December or mid-December? 13th and 14th of December, we're playing uh, Festival of the Sun at Port Macquarie. We're also playing on New Year's Eve, New Year's on the Hill in Victoria, which is also loose and going to be big. Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh yes, 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 yes.